something weird I noticed about many of these Unreal Engine tutorials is that they all teach you how to blueprint specific tasks, but nobody really teaches you how to do things yourself or how to approach creating blueprints yourself. It leaves you in a state of reliance and always waiting for their next uploaded video in order to achieve anything new or meaningful. Today that changes because I am teaching you how to think. Let's use a procedurally generated room for today's demo. A topic that sounds complicated in theory, but is really simple once you know how to think. Rule number one, leave your ego at the door. We all think we can manage and remember our ideas perfectly, but trust me, you can't. Somewhere along the road, you'll forget a small detail and it'll mess up many of your blueprint systems. So to avoid this, you need to write down in layman terms what needs to happen step by step. First off, we will need a room. Second, we will need different objects to fill the room with. Third, we will need locations to spawn those objects at. I know it sounds a little silly when we write down sentences like these, but trust me, it leads up to rule number two. Rule number two, get specific with each written task. Let's take, we will need a room to begin with. So for a room, we will simply need a blueprint actor with four walls and a floor. Then we wrote we will need a list of objects to fill the room with. So when we hear a list of anything, we should immediately think of arrays because an array is something that can store multiples of anything. And lastly, we need locations to spawn the objects at. So because we need multiple locations once again, we can use another array of vectors to store these locations in. So this is really all we need to create a procedurally generated room. So let's move on to our last rule, rule number three. I like to call this connecting the dots. This rule is called connecting the dots because here is where we start linking the different tasks together. So to do this, we need to write down in layman terms how these tasks will be ordered. So to spawn a room, all we need to do is to drag a blueprint actor into the scene. Number two, to get object spawn locations, we will need a reference to each location which is stored in the vector array. And to spawn a random object on each of these locations, we will need to use a loop that spawns an object on each of these locations. That's it, we're done. So in order to think, you shouldn't just watch a tutorial video online and copy it verbatim because you haven't actually learned anything or gotten better at blueprinting. What happens is if you ever need to tweak the blueprint or add an extra feature or remove a feature, you're just unable to because you don't understand why that specific code was there in the first place. So you are unable to change it properly. The best way to escape the never ending YouTube tutorial cycle is to follow these three rules and be critical about how you blueprint. Only search on how to use specific syntax or blueprint nodes. Or it's perfectly fine to watch other people's tutorials online, but never copy what you see directly because you need to deconstruct and analyze why they are doing that specifically. Only that way you can learn how to blueprint well. So I'm ending this video with a challenge for everyone watching this. If you are an Unreal Engine developer, I challenge you to recreate what I'm showing you on the screen right now Take a screen recording of it, upload it on YouTube, and tag me on it. I want to see what you guys can do. Now, you may be asking, what do I have to gain for sharing such incredible life-changing knowledge? Well, you guessed it right. Hit that like button below so that other new developers can see and watch this video and be freed from the YouTube tutorial mindset.